Hello, it's lovely to be back for another hour and it's another one day special of course, brand new launch from Simply Made Crafts and I'm so pleased to welcome back Helen Griffin. Hello. Hi Helen, hi. It seems ages since we worked together. Yeah, it's just over a month I think now. But it's I thought time it was longer than that, actually. <laughs> now this is your third one day special. It is, yes. It is. I'm very excited as well, we've got some amazing products for you. Now just before we get going Helen, just tell us a little bit about yourself how you found yourself here at Achanda for those that haven't seen you before? Well, uh, back in 2016, I won um, Paper Crafter of the Year for oh, uh, wow. Paper Craft Magazine. So that got me a position on the uh, design team in all the magazines. So Fabulous. And then it, I was approached by uh, Practical Publishing to... Uh, you know, do a co-brand with them. So here oh, I am amazing. now. So. Oh, fantastic! See, we have award-winning guests here at Achanda. Now then, all of the dies that we've got here on the one-day special, right down the counter, have all been designed by you, I presume. They have, yes. Amazing. We've got some fabulous things to show you. I can't wait to get uh, get down the counter, actually. But of course, it is the one-day special, so we're going to start with the one-day special. Uh, we're going to show you some samples first, so you can really get a grasp of what these are all about. Now then, first of all, look at this. Our advent calendar now this is a fabulous bundle you are going to get the dies to create this advent calendar but much more besides now also this could be a, a gift bag you can have the little holes for the handle in there if you want you can do it without now we're not just talking Christmas here either we're talking all sorts of occasions you could make these into baby bags wedding gift bags they could be whatever you want them to be Aren't these beautiful? Now the thing about these, Helen, is the size is just fabulous because you can get a good gift in there, can't it you, size-wise? That was the, um, the design behind, the, the concept behind the design, just to make sure that we have a really nice big size bag there and that you can fit a really good size present in there too. Yeah, fabulous. Now tell us about, I'm gonna, just going to pick this up, I don't think we've got any gifts in there, but tell us about this because this is our advent calendar, but it's kind of a, an advent in a gift bag? It is. It's, it's, it's quite a novelty piece, really. It's like a really good um, talking point as well, just to have on display. And it's, it's double-sided, so if you twist that round. So um, with this One Day Special, you also get the kit that's going to turn this gift bag into an advent calendar. So it's going to wow. cut the windows in for you. And there's room inside the bag even for um, another gift for like for day 25. There is, isn't there? Oh, I'm, am I allowed to just open this yes. so I can see inside? Yes. So think about it. On Christmas Day itself, you can have something quite, quite generous inside there, couldn't you? Look at that. Yes, yeah, so what a big bar of chocolate's going to fit in there. Or maybe it could be jewellery, it could be whatever you want it to be. What a great idea. Now then, that uh, oh, this is just incredible because the value you get in here within the one day special. Look, lots of samples, lots of ideas for you here. You're getting the large on it gift bag, you're getting the advent calendar, and you're also getting your ultimate tags. We haven't finished yet because, oh, just wait till you see these. How cute are these? So we've got a die set here to make your tags, your embellishments, they could be card toppers, they could be whatever you want them to be. And as I show you these again, think much more than Christmas as well. Obviously the gingerbread mans, you know, we do, we do think about them at Christmas, don't we? But we've got things like the stars as well, which could be a great hanging decoration. Yes, that one was designed as a decoration, so, it, you know, you can like cut two and, and glue them together, so they are symmetrical as well, so you can really... Um, you know, decorate the front and the back just, you know, when it twists Amazing. on the tree, you can yeah. make I'm it interesting. Just turn that round so you can see that, so you can see you can decorate both sides. And then look at these. Oh, uh, you can do your Christmas jumpers. Do you know, you could make some lovely bunting with these as well, couldn't yes, you? Yes, you could. Yeah, so these were made um, by Linda Parker. So I love these. This is one of my favourites. Look at this. So again, now it could be a Christmas jumper, but again, it could be for a baby. It, it could, could be whatever you want it to yes. be. Yes. A golfing jumper, perhaps, you know, for the guys as well. Uh, very, very nice. Now then, we have got some boards to show you as well. Uh, in total, if you look at this here, look at this incredible value, 77 dies in total. Now, we'll give you all the details in a second, but uh, Helen, talk us through what I've got here. Okay. So, so this is the advent calendar board. So you have the, the die cut. Oh, this way, uh, that's going to cut all of the windows. So you would need to do each uh, three times on your ornate gift bag to Lovely. make a set of 12. And then you could do the same for the other side to make uh, 24. Yep. And then at the top here, we have this um, die there that's going to make this box. Ah, 
So that's, that's your little advent box. It is, and you can fit some lovely flat treats in those and some uh, chocolate coins. And we have um, mats here, no, that, there, <laughs> and um, loads and loads of choice here as well for uh, you know, decorating your doors. And also the numbers, we can't do that without the numbers. Of course not. So you don't have to put your own numbers on there. They are included, of course. Uh, this is the advent kit here, but we've got much more to show you. So this one, I presume, this is our side panels, the front and the back. Yes, so this is a really, really good size die. It almost takes up the entire A4 sheet of um, cardstock. And at the top here, it's going to cut your ornate top. And it's also going to do a score line for you as well. So you get that lovely shape that closes up so you can um, add magnets to it, uh, you can use um, Velcro or you can even use the holes that are provided in the die set to make your closure. Amazing. And this is a die as well, is it? This the rectangle? Yes, that's a large mat. So if you wanted to um, add a mat to your gift bag, you can do. It's great that you've got a die actually, even if it is just a rectangle because it's going to be exact, exactly the right size of course, so no measuring for you. And this one, Helen? Okay, so that those are going to make your sides, so all the scoring is done for you as well and also your the bottom panels as well so you can close. So um, I just love the way that everything's all done for you, you just got to run it through and it cuts it out for you. Amazing, and it just keeps going. Look at this, just look at this. So you can see the cutter. I love the fact that you've got the buckles in there and two different designs there as well. You've got your various tags and plates in there as well. Wait until you see this one. Oh, okay, so look this at is the little robin and the stag's head there as well. So Tell us about this one then, Helen. Okay, what? that's kind of like a piece of um, tinsel or something that you'd wrap around the tree. So you can decorate that however you wish. You can add dots, you know, for like baubles or lights. So, Amazing. Um, yeah, this is part of the um, the tag die set now. Yes, the tags. We've shown you the jumpers. We've shown you various things, but you haven't seen them all. Look, this is some more that you get. The Christmas pudding, the parcel in there as well. All part of this wonderful bundle. There you go. There's your, you've got your stars, your gingerbread man, and your jumpers as well. Front and back as well. Uh, or your overlays. You can do, work with these in various different ways. Wow. Do you know, I was amazed at the size of the dies, Helen, actually, when, when I saw them, especially for those tags, I, w I looked at the front of the packaging and I thought, I wonder if uh, this is true to life. No, they're much bigger than you realise. Now, I'm going to show you the boards with the actual physical dies on as well, so you can see all 77. This is incredible value. Look at this here. Two payments of 27.49 as well, because you have got, of course, the Flexibuy option. Item number 165875. You are getting everything that we're showing you here. I've got another big board to show you yet. Uh, lots and lots of dies, as I say. Oh, 77 in total. There's your tags again there. Just look at those. What generous sizes. You're going to have so much fun with these, aren't you? Yes. I'm thinking of Adam. He's looking for his <laughs> ideas for tags. Here they are. I hope Adam's wa watching. Now, busy on this already. In fact, I can tell you nearly 10% of the stock has already gone. Item number 165875. So that's the one day special, but of course we've got more for you as well. I've got something I can't wait to show you actually coming up next. Now then, I've got a little sample here to show you. Now I do know what this is going to do, but you don't look. Look at this. Now this is a great size little gift box, but when you open it, wow. <laughs> How clever is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and put that back together. And we'll do that again, I think. Let me see. Now, this is like a matchbox style. It is, yes. And it's just the right size for treats as well. So you can put some treats in there and a, a few of the exploding boxes. Now, watch this. I'm going to leave it down here this time so we can really see. I'm going to try and not interfere with... Way! <laughs> <laughs> and then in the bottom, look. Yep, look you, at that. You get the dies there that is going to cut the semicircles out for you so it's a really really easy way to give a gift card and something really fun if you can imagine this on Christmas Day everyone's going to want to have a go. They are. Do you know what? You, you can spend hundreds of pounds on toys, but everybody's going to be playing with these, aren't they? Reloading the box and just letting them pop out. What a great idea. Now, you do also get the giant gift bow die set with this as well, which I can also show you. I'm just going to uh, grab this because we've got a gorgeous bow here. Look at this. This is created from the die that you get with the exploding box. 
Isn't that wonderful? Are there other ways we could work with this as well, Helen? Can you make yes. it into different sizes? Yes, you can trim it down just to make a single bow. If you trim off the top and the bottom, Lovely. and it comes with all the, the tails as well and different sizes, and you can even layer and mat them as well. So there's just so many options there. I mean, wow. your, that your is creativity beautiful. really, just let it go loose. Again, the value here. I'm going to show you the boards that we've got because look at this this is the bow die look what you're getting in here the whole set you're saving seven pounds and thirty pence for your freedom member uh 29.68 is the price but let's show you the dies for the box itself and all of those extra elements you get in there because you get far more than you realize look at this what value 29 dies in total item number 077141 i think i have i've got that upside down am i all right there just looking at the word it's in there. It's hard to see because it's in reverse as well. Now that, where do you find your inspiration, Helen? How do you come up with ideas like this? Everywhere. If I just see one little thing, it kind of grows in my mind, and I think, oh, I can add this, I can do that, I can make it do this. So wow. that's kind of how my brain works. It just goes off in a whole different. <laughs> <laughs> that's another another sample to show you with the cutouts, the actual dies themselves, just some of them from this bundle. I love that a little something and what's this I see I was I was looking on the screen and thinking have I got it upside down because everything's back to front it's kind of mirror image when you were uh, before you put it out but of course of course that's what you get in there and this is the actual box itself is it Helen yes yeah, so that, that's going to make the match box for you so you can just use Amazing. that as it is so you can even probably make even an advent calendar out of that if you make 24 of those you can just stack them up and build them in different shapes Lovely. Well, busy on this one as well. 10% of the stock almost gone now. 29.68 is the price if you're a Freedom member, so that's delivered. 077141. Now, we are going to take you to the website. We've got much more on the show. You can be shopping ahead, but we want to get to demonstration time, don't we? Because we've got so much to show you. So do go to the website. Do have a look. We've got various different boxes. We've got lanterns on there. There's some paper there as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we've got the milk carton. We've got, oh, crackers and poinsettias there look together as well and they are different to ones you've seen before different sizes different designs lots of intricate detail in those die sets as well absolutely gorgeous but of course the one day special is there for you to find as well and we are off to a busy start now then we're here and I can see straight away you've got a really good sized die we're going to go with the advent calendar or the gift bag we are we are going to make both so oh, we're going to make the advent calendar gift bag so Amazing. we're going to combine them together. So I've got the two die sets here. So we're okay. going to be using those two die sets. And we're also going to be decorating it with the Poncesia die, which we'll, we'll be getting okay. to yep. later on into the show. So I've got a few pieces already cut out, and I'll go through those in a moment so that you'll know which pieces you need to assemble. So I'm just going to put those over here. So okay. I have an A4 uh, piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to grab my tape. You need a long piece of tape here for each side. So as you can see, this, this one does need to be held into place because it's quite a large die and there's a good risk that it may move. So lovely. I'm just going to add those. That's a pretty colour card as well. I love blues and the, the greens as well at Christmas. I, I'm more into the traditional um, gorgeous colours, but I do like this combination too. Now, right. obviously, you've got an A4 sheet there, Helen, so you'll need an A4 die cutting you machine. Will, but yes. These are thinner dies, so they're going to go through all brands of die they cutting are. machine. They are, Fabulous. yes. So I'm just going to run this through. So this is what I like about these types of dies. All the little fold lines are there. Everything's cut so precisely for you. No measuring, no thinking about it. You just can't get it wrong, can you? Do you make lots of your own home for Christmas then, Helen? Do you have your yes. own things around? Yes. Last year I made so many things for my YouTube channel. I just had to have everything on display. And it all went... Um, packed away with all my decorations so I can bring them out again oh. this year. So this is basically what you get left over, so selfie, well. selfie frame. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, there's always a use, there's always a use. Well that just goes to show, doesn't it, there is absolutely no waste at all. I'm sure, do you know, you could actually use those little borders down the edge of a card if you wanted to, but really, do you know what, if we're going to allow you to throw anything away, we might just let you get away with that one. Okay, so, oops. We'll almost dropped that. 
Okay, so we're going to move on to a, the other die set now. So we're moving on to the advent calendar die set. Okay, lovely. All past the one day special, of course. Yep. So as you'll see, you have one line here that's going to do your score line and the other three are going to cut so okay, I'm, I, I want to try and keep it all in the same orientation so I don't really want the doors well, you can actually turn it over and have all of your doors opening opposite okay if that yep. makes sense but I'm gonna have all of mine going the same way so I'm going to put this in the center but further down but I'm also going to leave a gap just here because this is the bottom flap and it needs to attach to the bottom and if there's oh, a box in the way then it's not really going to okay. go together very well. So, although it, you know, crafting is a learning curve as well, so if you can so imagine... So there's no absolute set rule but just be aware of that, yes, you've got to leave that right. space. You can get creative as you want as long as you leave a little bit of space to put the box Lovely. together. Okay. okay, so I've got my first layout ready to go through. Lovely. So let's put that through. So this will be a perfect um, project if you have like um, a Christmas film on. Oh, and what a nice just, idea. You can just have fun putting your ca a calendar together, even a family yes. thing even, you can get all the children involved. Yeah. I mean, I've um, asked my children to make a whole load of these little boxes for oh, me. Oh, so. you know, for Advents as well, they are going to want to get involved, especially if you're filling them at the same time. Yes. <laughs> I almost lost that oh, off the okay. end. <laughs> I've got a whole host of little bits and pieces here, actually, that you've brought that would fit inside these, uh, just for ideas. So, you know, little hair bands or little clips for girls. You know, your chocolates, obviously, are going to go in there. Do you know, you're going to be able to fit some really lovely gifts in, aren't you? Yes, you are, yes. As long as they're flat, they will fit in there. You can get quite imaginative as well. It's, quite, it's kind of fun trying to hunt out the right sized uh, gifts that will fit in there. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just adding this to the other side. Okay. So start in the centre and then work either side. Yes, that will make sure that all of your doors are more or less even. So let's run that one through. I'm just wondering, I'm just thinking, I, I know someone who... Um, she's given an advent calendar every year and behind every door is a little makeup item so i bet you could get a little eyeshadow yes. or again your hair grips or something like that and kind of give her a, a themed one so it, you know for beauty goes i a kid like that wouldn't she uh another idea what about little crafting items that's come from the gallery from our chris so you can get little things that fit in there um any other ideas maybe that people have got so if you want to theme your your little gift bag and your advent that would be really nice so the good fun about this is trying to choose something to go on the inside for day 25. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, especially if each door kind of has a clue to whatever's in, in, the yes. big, in the inside. So, do you know what I've noticed as well, Helen? As years have gone by, advent calendars get more and more extravagant. When you buy they them from do, the shops, they they're getting do. more expensive. You're getting you know more and more items you can go actually can't you to um, you can. to sort of a, a chemist on the high street and buy beauty ones that but have got quite expensive, those are very and expensive. That cost an awful lot of money but you haven't got the fun of making your own then have you no i mean i come from the era where we had an advent calendar just like this and it just had numbers no yep. chocolates or no. anything so it's really really good that you can have this choice nowadays and you can especially if you can personalize them now as well so if you have a diabetic or someone with um special needs and, and you know dietary needs you can that's a good idea you can really you know even homemade that's things you idea. can make you could have so much fun decorating these Okay, so we have all of our 12 doors, so okay, if you lovely. want to have a double-sided calendar, you can um, cut another one of these and you can then have one either side or okay. you can create two calendars. Yeah. So you can have 12 doors on one, 12 doors on the other, and then especially if you have children sharing it, then they've got a good size gift there for one each in the main yeah, pocket. That's really, so that would be really, really nice. I'm just going to grab, actually, I'm going to bring in a couple. 
If that's all right, I'm just going to grab another one. We've got another sample to show you, actually, because we didn't, I don't know if we caught sight of this one earlier. Just another idea. Look, don't forget you're getting the dies to create the, the embellishments on there as well. You know, you're getting all of the numbers in there. Look at that bow. That's in one of the other sets, but that's another example of that gorgeous bow. And the one that we saw at the start of the show here, isn't that beautiful? Watch out for this poinsettia as well. You'll find that on the website. We've not shown it live yet. But the fact that you've got that whole advent calendar in a gift bag, you can put your your largest gift, your uh, one to open on Christmas Day, in the centre there. Do you know, you could fit all sorts in there, whether it's makeup, toiletries, jewellery, scarves, chocolate. It doesn't matter, does it? You've really got a lot of space there. Do you know, I would keep these. I certainly wouldn't get rid of them at the end of the year. I'd be bringing them out year after year. Everything is thought about for you, of course. No measuring. You don't have to worry about that. Everything's going to be cut precisely with the dies. The score line's going to be there for you as well. Uh, great to see the demonstrations, of course, because you can see exactly how they're built together. But really, there's no, there's no limit to how you can decorate these. OK, so we're going to be moving on to making our little box now. OK. So I'm going to set that aside. What I've done while you were speaking, I've just uh, added some mats. OK, lovely. So you get the die for that as well. Perfect. So you need to cut yourself 24 of these. So again, Christmas movie on and start all your die cutting. OK. Now, I can see that this is going to come together very easily, Helen. Do you get any sort of instructions in the pack as well, or is you it do. just self You do. There are instructions Lovely. on the packet and also on my YouTube channel. Oh, there, amazing. There's a full tutorial on how to make this. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, so if you do, if you haven't, a, you know, you haven't got facility to record or you forget what you're doing, I'm sure you'll be able to work it out, but you can find that information. You've got the instructions and you have got that tutorial on YouTube as well. OK, so if you are looking for me, I'm Helen Griffin, UK. Lovely. And it will be one of my latest tutorials. Fabulous. So what I'm doing now is I'm... Cassie has done all of my score lines for me. I'm just folding all of these down. And then we have these outside um, score lines. So I'm going to fold those the other way. Look how easily that's folding as well. I see. So the Beautiful. special thing is... We're going to add the tabs and glue it on the outside. Okay. So that the because the inside of the box is going to be shown, we can then oh, hide the tabs. Of course, of course. You're not going to see the outside at all, are you? Unless you no. really sort of study it when you open the full bag up, and you're not going to do that. You just want to see what's inside there. It wouldn't be a disaster if you did it. You know. No, no it's no very, one very notice, easy. Got to say those little tabs. Look how because it's precision cut with your dies. Of course, it is so so neat. Look at that. Just perfect. Amazing. OK, so I'm just adding... And these are very new together. designs, aren't they, Helen? They are. These have only been released a week. Wow. It's very, very new. So there we go. Everything is now glued together. So we can now add our box. So I'm going to leave that one aside because that's still sort of wet still. So I'm going to use okay. this one for my demonstration. So in the die set, you do get this little um, rectangle here. OK, yeah. And... You can pop that just behind this door here so it sticks out and um, you can use that, you know, just to help you get the door open. Oh, oh yeah, really, I've thought of everything. And I'll show you a small trick as well that I've discovered when we add these. I'm adding the glue to these flaps here that are open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it so some of uh, this area here is going to be visible at the front oh, right. so that you don't okay. really lose your door inside yeah. the pocket so the first time I put this down I want it to just be a general guess of where I'm putting it yeah and I'm going to open that up so I can see and then I'm going to just push that across so if your glue's got a bit of wiggle room that's very easy to do yeah. look at that how neat it is so that fits that door exactly there we go and you see there's a overlap there so it kind of stops the yep. door going inside I mean if you press it too hard the door will go inside but if you have like um, a pointy tool or something like yep. that then it's going to be okay so I'll do one more yeah so just be aware not to put the glue right the way across those tabs and position those perfectly so that your little door doesn't get lost inside but very easy to do indeed 
Uh, on some of my calendars that I've made as for my samples, I've, I've used brads as well on the doors. I've oh, just for little, little door openers, little handles yes, on the doors. they look really, really cute with the um. You could put a little, little tub ones. of ribbon on there as well, yes, couldn't you? Yes, you could. You can get really creative, and especially if you're going to be using these year after year as well, it'd be really fun to get those out, you know. You certainly as could well. pop, pop this away, you know, put it, as long as you're not going to put anything heavy on top of it, do put them away, you're going to use these year after year. Okay. Now, so we've seen how you've done the box then, the front and the back, if you want to do a double-sided one, Helen. Do you need a bit of a break as we do a bit of a recap to yep, get ready for the do. next part? Yes, OK. OK, lovely. Now then, the one-day special, I'm just going to remind you about this because it's extremely busy. Now, of course, this is the launch show, just launched at 6 o'clock. Uh, we're not even halfway through the show yet and we are extremely busy on this. So you are getting three die sets here, the large ornate gift bag, you're getting the advent calendar and the ultimate tag. In fact, 77 dies in total. Wow. All for a price of 54.97. You're saving six pounds, but we can split this down onto a flexi buy option as well. Two payments of just 27 pounds and 49 pence. Now, almost a quarter of the stock has already gone. We're very, very busy on this. I can see why you're falling in love with this. As soon as I saw it, I just thought these are just such a clever, clever concept. Uh, the engineering behind everything is amazing. Now, 77 dies is an awful lot. So of course, you've got everything that you need. You know, you've got everything you need to make the bag. If you want to make the advent calendar, you've got the doors, you've got the, the uh, die that makes little boxes, as we've seen there, all of your numbers, so many embellishments included here as well. I'm going to quickly show you the boards in a second, but just a reminder that it's not just about the bags and the advent calendar. Don't forget you're getting your tags as well. I've just got to show you these again. I think these are amazing. I just love these. Aren't they fabulous? Look, do you know, it could be a new baby, it could be a golfing jumper, it could be a Christmas jumper, it can be whatever you want it to be. You know, just put a number on there if you want, if it's an age. Then you've got your star, which could be a tag, but these were designed as hanging decorations as well. So you've got your fronts and your backs included and the little gingerbread men. We've also got the parcels and uh, the Christmas pudding as well, which I'll show you on the boards. How sweet are they? Just love them. So let's have a look at the boards themselves again. The actual dies. So of course, this is your advent area. Uh, that we've got here so you can see how to make the door flaps themselves you've got the box there you've got all those embellishments all of the numbers included in there as well of course you've got the large die extremely large die that's only just fits on the A4 so there's no waste to create the front and the back of the bag or the uh, advent as well lots of embellishments there as well you also get this piece here which if you wanted to take out a little area to carry the bag you can do that as well I'll show you the sample again in a second and of course you have got your tags as well now look at this just look at these honestly when I saw the packaging I thought oh how sweet are they and then when I saw the size of these I was just amazed at the value for money and lots of layers within all of these tags as well which is fantastic two payments of 27.49 as I say 165.875 that's the item number for the one day special let me just show you this again because this is what I'm talking about we'll just bring bring back into detail some samples for you in a second there you go there's that cut out if you want to turn it into an actual carrying bag what a great idea don't forget you've got that shape in there as well another idea for the advent you know we've got you can decorate these in so many different ways in whatever color you want using the embellishments in the die sets or using whatever you want to use now of course it doesn't have to be christmas we can think about weddings we can think about birthdays we can think about all of those occasions what about a new baby or a christening gift how sweet is that now that could be christmas because that kind of looks snowy but i think that is beautiful a baby shower all those different things amazing value at 77 dies in total that's what you're getting within the one day special 165875 there you are that's the three sets that you get in there full instructions included as well of course uh, so you know you don't have to remember everything that you're seeing today and you can get that youtube tutorial if you need to as well but we have got more, we've got more to show you. Now, 
don't forget, just one little reminder actually, because these are the bigger dies, think of the size of these uh, advent calendars or the bags themselves, you'll need an A4 die cutting machine to use those larger dies. Lots of the other elements, the embellishments will fit through any machine, uh, but for the larger ones you will need an A4 machine. Now moving down, I'm going to have to do this again, I've just been fiddling about at the back of the set trying to get all this put back together because <laughs> you will actually on Christmas Day if you're gifting this to somebody can you imagine how many times that is going to be worked I'm sure we're going to I'm sure we're going to let you into the secret of how they actually work so it's not just a case of clever folding they wouldn't pop out like that would they but it's a very very simple trick and of course the box itself use it for your gift cards use it for a lottery ticket or whatever you want again not just for Christmas think about gift gifting for birthdays weddings anything you can put all sorts of gift cards or uh, actual money in there as well now you don't just get this die or this set of dies do you know i'll put that back in a little while because i'm going to show you this uh, there's the box die itself i'm just going to show you what you get in there so you're going to get the dies to create the matchbox style box of course but there is more because you're also going to get the large bow in this one as well now i have got the sample of the bow i've also got the boards here that i can show you but look at this how beautiful is this isn't that gorgeous? You can change the size of this, you can change the style of it. We have got other samples around the studio where this has been used as well. What a great price. £29.68 is the freedom price here. £7.30 is the saving on this bundle. 29 dies in total. Incredible value. 077141. We're very busy for this. I'm just going to hold this uh, board up again for you just so you can see every one of those dies that you're going to get. £32.98, £4 sa saving if you're a non-freedom member. That's what you get in there. You're going to have so much fun with those. So much fun. Now, we have got more to show you because we didn't go all the way down the counter before. So everything, I've got to say, everything is absolutely brand new as well. Just released within the last week or so. Now, this is another fantastic bundle coming up. The poinsettia and the cracker. Now, wait till you see these crackers. Now I know we've had other cracker dies on the shows previously but not like this one. The size and the shape and the style and what you're getting in it is completely different. Look at this. This is just one idea. Again, crackers aren't just for Christmas. We see them at weddings. We see them at all sorts of parties. How beautiful is that? If you want to theme, if you've got a colour scheme, you can do that. Oh, Helen, I've just checked. How do you do with that? Right. They're different size. Yeah, so the, it's called the ultimate cracker because you can change the size of them. So the die will cut one half and then you can choose the length. Oh, so it's wow. a really, really good idea. Do you know what? I'm just, I'm going to have to pick this up. I'm sorry because, <laughs> look, just so you can see a comparison there. So I've yes. got three different sizes there then. I have, haven't I? Look at that. Three different size crackers from the one set so you can change these quite considerably then you can yes and another thing that you can fit in is um, a small bottle of wine you just have to be extra careful and not pull it so um, if we take uh, this one here that you have here okay as you can see it will fit a bottle of wine in there obviously it will go into the main section I'll turn that like How that clever. so it, it will fit inside. How clever. Now that answers a question, Helen. Mm -hmm. Because I saw you with that bottle at the meeting and I didn't I like to ask. <laughs> I didn't like to ask. Now it all makes sense. Wow, this is this is just amazing, isn't it? £31.99 is going to get you this. We've not even shown you the poinsettia samples yet. They are absolutely beautiful. Now then, let's have a little look at some of the poinsettias. Helen, the size of these are incredible. These are beautiful. If you want to make home decor pieces, if you want to decorate wreaths with these, you could put these all over your Christmas tree as well. You've got different sizes in there, so I presume you could layer up in different ways and get different yes, sizes as well. Yes, you can. You get four really good sized poinsettia dies, and I'm absolutely in love with this poinsettia basket. That was made from, uh, it's made by uh, Sam Clayton, and she's a really talented uh, designer as well. So. I'd absolutely love the uh, 
basket there. Oh, do you know, every time I see a new poinsettia I die, I think, can they get any better? Well, yes, they can, because this is my favourite so far. $31.99 is the price for this bundle. I love the crack. I love the fact that you can make that into completely different sizes. £5 saving on this bundle. 759815 is the item number. That is absolutely beautiful. Now we've got a stamp and die set for you coming up next. Now this is so cute. Oh, I've got lovely little samples here as well. We've got the milk box here as well. Now is that the box that we saw the bottle in? It is, yes. Ah. So we, we've used the poinsettia to decorate it. So you can barely even see the milk box. But oh, there is a milk box behind there. So, but it does fit in this bottle of wine. That is so gorgeous. If you can imagine that on every on every place setting How where everyone and look sits. Look at this poinsettia again. These are absolutely gorgeous. They really, really are. Oh, love it, love it. That milk box. You know, you can fit much more than a bottle in there as well. That's now, right. Now, I presume because we've got dies again to cut all of these out, Helen. These are going to be easiest to construct because you've got your your um, fold lines already yes. embossed into them as well. The score lines got the are right already one there. there yeah. Look, these are the dies themselves, or the cutouts, I should say. I've got various different boards here. Yeah, so Let me just come this top. way a little bit. So you can see where it needs to be cut, it's cut. Where you need to fold, it's going to score it for you. And then, of course, you can decorate. So you're going to get these pieces as well. So you can keep it plain, you can decorate it up, you can do all sorts of different things. Love the stitching detail in there as well. Oh, and look. How so you can beautiful. turn that into a house as well. So it has this clever. this um, row at the bottom there that you can cut that down to make the tile work for a roof because it's got the sloping side at the top. Oh, so Helen, you are clever. You can make it into I've a roof. This one actually. Look. So it could be a little house. How beautiful is that? Look at this. I'm going to tip it forward so you can see. Look at the detail on the roof with that piece there. What a great idea. And then of course. You can use your acetates, you could put uh, little candle gifts in there as well. Do you know, these are lovely, but you can still get really nice gifts in there, can't you? You can, yes. It will also, oh, use them for decor. It will also fit the uh, jar candle as well. Oh, wow. What a lovely way to present me. a gift like that. But just little lanterns on your table for decor as well. But that's not it. Of course, you're getting the stamps as well. These are so cute. Now, we have, I think, already seen a sample right here, but I've got some more at the back to show you as well. A £3 saving on these. £26.99 is going to get you this bundle. How cute is that? And that doesn't have to be just for Christmas. You could use that no, any time yeah, of year, you couldn't can you? Put pink icing on there. Oh, of course. Oh, look. These are my favourite sorts of cards. They, they, they're simple, but they say everything they need to say. Really classy. Oh, I love that as well. Is there an angel policy where we can make to sell then, Helen? Do you allow people to use your stamps and your dies to yes, sell? Yes, you can do, yes. For the full policy, Craft Stash do have um, an angel policy on the, the bottom of their website. So you can just click on that and the full policy is Perfect. there for you to read. Amazing. But yes, you can. Now, I'm just going to show you the actual dies themselves. We've got all the boards to show you, just so you really can realise the value for money when you see all of the boards here. Now, look at all the embellishments you've got. Those windows and doors are on there as well. There's the actual box die for the milk carton. Absolutely incredible value. 26 206875 Then we've got one more item to show you, the lantern the lantern die set for you now. Look at this, again, another incredible bundle. You're getting 28 dies in total. 28 dies in this one. I'm gonna show you the actual dies, but Helen, you tell us about this set. Okay, so this is the first set here where you just get the, um, the lantern bag. So you can have it as a box, you can have it as a bag, and you have loads of different ways that you can decorate it and the, um, we have some edge dies as well so you can have some nice scallop tops to it Lovely. and the second die set um, it might be Oops. best if we go for the oh, this board we'll do here that one first. next okay we'll do that one so this one here it does the lid for the square right. box okay so we have some lovely uh, lovely star trellis here that is pretty so we have we do have a lantern out already with that with a lovely candle inside so it looks really really festive if you can imagine making a whole bunch of lanterns oh, oh they would look lovely wouldn't they even for like a wedding you can just have them everywhere 
Do you know, I would, Jess, uh, do you know, I want to go to a, a, just a winter wedding now just to see things like this because they would look amazing, wouldn't they? And there you've got your decorative elements as well. Just to make it clear how everything cuts out, let me just show you these. It's so worthwhile. Helen's done such a lot of work getting everything ready for us. Just look at the cutouts themselves. You imagine using your glitter papers, putting acetate behind these panels, using all your beautiful uh, cardstock. Let's go that way up because we've got ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you'd have to cut through <laughs> for those. <laughs> there you go. Yes, you can cut that as many times as you want. You can have as many holes as you want. £33.98. <laughs> £3 saving on this one. Five seven four one one seven. There we are. That's everything on the counter. Now, of course, you can find everything on the website, but something else that we haven't actually seen, because we'll, there wasn't room on the counter, but we do have it at the back of the studio, and these are beautiful. You've got your Simply Made Crafts 2 12 by 12 paper packs here. You've got traditional and contemporary Christmas, 48 sheets in, sheets in total, and here they are, so we can have a, a little look. Helen, tell us about these. OK, so we have two paper packs here. They're single-sided. So you don't have to choose which design that you want to use because normally like, uh, you know, your two favourite papers are on the same sheet of paper, aren't they? Uh, oh, lovely. Let's okay. just have a little flick through these. So now, how many have we got of each? But is it four sheets of each design we've got it's here? It's four sheets, so you get 24 of each uh, in, in total. Okay. So this is the contemporary Christmas. So here we have, we have some traditional colours as well, but we've mixed it in with some blues and some lovely uh, greens as well. I really like the colour palette, actually. And I think these work very, very well with your craft card as well, don't they? Yes, these they sorts do. Of colours. Aren't they just beautiful? Some really gorgeous brightens detail. it up. Are we recognising some of the detail from your stamps, did I notice, as well, going through? Yes. Yeah, on the first um, sheet. The first sheet, it had the cupcakes, and then here we have the car. Oh, look at that. The lovely, iconic red car with a tree on top at Christmas. <laughs> That is really, really lovely. So that's your contemporary. Yep, that uh, is your contemporary. And we've got two because we have got the, con the traditional as well. So I don't know if you want to just uh, work from your way and flip through this a little bit, Helen, so you okay. can see what we're getting. So you get exactly the same. You get 24 sheets, 12 by 12. It's 180 GSM. They're single-sided and four of each design. And so the first one is my favourite has the poncettias, so it's a lovely, nice um, pattern there. They're not too big and not too small. It's just right for you to get crafting with. And the second one are these lovely pine cones here. Oh, they're nice. As well, that's a really nice traditional palette there for Christmas. And these papers work really well together as well. What weight are they, Helen? They're 180 uh, GSM. Oh, so perfect for your die cutting as well. And here we have reindeers and holly. Just love that. And here we have some lovely robins as well. I'll move those over. Oh, how sweet are they? So these are a lovely oh, uh, love pop those. of red. Beautiful. Very traditional there. And here we have something a little bit more contemporary pushed in. So here we have some snowflakes in the lovely shade of green that oh, reflects lovely. the rest of the album. So it does blend in really well. So they're not scattered all the way around. They are more um, lined up. And here we have my other favourite is this lovely tartan. I can't I like get enough that. of tartan. I couldn't, would that work for the tag in the one day special for the jumper as well? You could have a, a really, a really nice jumper made of that, couldn't you? Lovely. Well, these are just 17.98 for both of the 12 by 12s. 356, 898 is the item number. There is a freedom price on these 17.98. Of course, that's delivered price. 48 sheets in total. You've got the best of everything because you've got the contemporary and the traditional all in that one bundle there. Amazing. Now we've got about 15 minutes left, Helen. So can we carry on with the adults? Yes. OK, I'm just going to grab my pokey tool because okay. I'm going to be removing some of this red tape now. So I did say earlier I was going to go through with what pieces you need to okay. make a bag. So if you were just making the bag, it's exactly the same as if you were making the advent calendar. The same pieces are needed, except you won't have all of these windows in. So you need two of the side pieces, two of the bottom pieces, okay. and two... Uh, front and back panels Lovely. which are exactly the same yeah so we're going to attach everything together now and I'll give you a whoops a little tip here so I've I've folded all of the score lines in I'm going to take off you can use glue for this but okay. I'm just going to demonstrate with the red line tape 
I'm going to fold it down like that. And then what I'm going to do is just add this along here. Oh, I see. So you're not taking the backing off the tape all in one go? No, because we can have little accidents when that happens. So I'm just going to get that into place as best I can so I can still see the score line okay. appearing. And I'm going to hold on to the bottom here and pull that down. That's given me just enough chance there to get this stuck down and then pull that out. Lovely. And then we have that and added. It's very easy to line that up correctly because you're just lining up where that bottom flap, the, the uh, fold is, right with the bottom of the front panel. That's right. Fabulous. Okay, so we're going to add the next panel now. So we're going to take tape off and fold it the other way. That's okay. going to go this way now. Whoops. This is super sticky stuff, this. <laughs> OK, so we're going to line this it up now. It is a great tip, this, actually, Helen, especially when using a red liner tape. So what you can do, if you do find it's a bit bulky, you can add your whole row of the gift bag together and then add all of your boxes if you find that that's going to be a little um, less fiddly. So I'm just going to pull this out. There we go. Now you can see it building very quickly, can't you, as well? It's really taking shape. Is Christmas your favourite time of year? I think it is, yes. I can, I can pretty much craft for Christmas any time of year. So um, working on the magazines, we start round about May time. So we've, we've definitely finished Christmas now. We've moved, <laughs> we've moved, we're moving on to um, spring and Easter now. So I can wow. pretty much craft for Christmas any time of year. OK, so that is Lovely. that one. Now we can add our bottom pieces now. OK. I'm going to do exactly the same. Oh, we've had a lovely idea actually on our Facebook page from Claire. Claire would make an advent calendar for her dog or cat, so I'll put dog or cat treats in the dog. Ah. Do you know, that is a great idea. I'd need four because I've got four dogs. But that would be good, wouldn't it? Because you can really ration them down. Just just one treat a day. <laughs> yes, if you load it up, it would have to be on a high shelf so they wouldn't attack it. it. it yes, <laughs> definitely. Oh, can you imagine, though, every morning they'd get used to the time. If you just sort of oh, set a time would. to give them the, the treat. They'd, 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 they'd know what the calendar <laughs> looked like as well. They'll know exactly what it is when it comes out every year. Yeah. Oh, I want to do that now. I want to go on my mate one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm just adding the next, the, the last one now. So, again, I'm doing that same trick of lining up everything. Oh, oh what about... Oh, this is a great idea from our Meg. What about if you want to propose to someone and then you could just choose a date so don't start at the beginning and don't wait until Christmas Day somewhere in the middle maybe number 12 or something like that and then <laughs> just put will you marry me inside Aww. the door actually that is a nice idea isn't it you could put yes, all sorts of sort of you notes could put the in ring there, in there, there as well couldn't you because yeah. it's small enough to have the ring in oh you could put little photographs behind the doors as well OK, so there's still a room here for me to add the rest of my um, boxes at the back here. So we're going to just take this off now. Let's do this on live TV. What can go wrong? <laughs> this is the last bit. Oh, do you know if you did it, will you marry me? Inside could be the, the ring in a box inside the main bag itself. And they're not allowed that till Christmas Day. Just in case you change your mind. <laughs> Got to make sure that it's a definite yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm being told that wouldn't be very, very fair. No, okay, it wouldn't, would it? Okay, so uh, I'm going to use I know, glue. I know. What about on day number one, there'd be a little clue to something that you got that you that you find, and then number two will be another one, and if, then you could have. Will you marry me? And then the next clue is where to find the ring. So you can go and pop it on your yes, finger. Yes, it could be a treasure hunt. You could leave exactly. clues, clues yeah. inside each box. Yeah. So you could even make this into an <laughs> even Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt. You could just look at the uh, doors. Of course, yes. Just put the clues in the doors and then off they go. 
So I've just added glue to this and then I'm going to use the grid map here just to make sure that my bottom is square. Okay. Because that's a good it, idea. It can, well, can good shift tip. about. It can shift about yeah. whenever you do a bag like that. So I'm just going to grab my ruler now just to press down in the centre. Okay. That is such a generous bag opening though, Helen, and your little arms, I'm sure I could have fitted in there to do that, but it is a good tip to uh, use a ruler or something just to make sure everything's nice and secure. Okay. Look at that, how beautifully it comes together. There we go. So another tip I have for your numbers is I've taped them all together. I don't take this off the tape now unless I have to what do individual numbers. So I'm not going to lose, I'm not fiddling around trying to find yeah. all of my little numbers because that really does annoy me a little bit sometimes when you have to just <laughs> go and find all of the numbers so they're all glued together that is a great on the idea. tape so i'm going to run this through and of course your numbers are going to come in for all sorts of reasons as well you know dates for weddings birth times birth weights even okay let's run that through i've turned the machine around now so i'm not at risk of losing my plates <laughs> off the end of the table <laughs> We do have to stretch quite a lot when we demonstrate it sometimes, Helen, don't we? With how often we have to have some of the machines. Yeah, quick reflexes. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now I've got all of my numbers. So I would just do this, do row and row, just row after row, and then you'll have a pot full of That's numbers. It. You've always got a stash, haven't you? So I can just... For whatever occasion. So pull those off. My, num my numbers are all stuck to here now, so let's get my pokey tool so we oh, can these, add these are uh, really number one. They're not too small, but they're nice and delicate and uh, decorative as well, so aren't we they? Can add our number one there. Yes, they are. So I'm just going to add just a... Uh, so I'm just going to add that because it's a number one. It's pretty easy to kind of guess that shape. Yeah. So if you have like a picky up tool, that would be really handy as well for one of these. And a precision nozzle, maybe, for some of the letters to put the glue on the back. The there we go. Fiddly. And I'm just going to use oh, my lovely. pokey tool there just to get my door out as well. Okay. There we go. So here you have a choice of whether you can add a bit of um, a tab at the back here yep. to help you get that out. But you can also use um, a brad as well. So I do have a pack of brads here. Black may not be the best choice, but I have what I have. Okay. So you need a pokey tool. And again, in the die set, there are loads and loads of choices on um, little trinkets that you can decorate the front with, like presents. And I think that there is definitely a sample that we have here with all of those dies in. Lovely idea. Could, would it be worth putting the brads in before you build the whole Yes, it would be so much less game. fiddly if you did it that way. Do you know, Meg's had another good idea, I think. Because you... It is an advent calendar, but it doesn't have to be, does it? What about if it was a new home and you wanted to add some little gifts in for a new home as well? You could turn that into a little house, couldn't you, as you well? You could. Turn it into windows. It's kind of a house shape. And if you had the, um, the milk box die with the tiling yes. strip, you can add your tiling of course. along the top there. There we go. Oh, I love this poinsettia. So I've moved over to the poinsettia now. So I've used some silver glitter cardstock and um, the same accent paper there. So I'm just going to quickly glue this together so you can ruffle up your edges, but I'm just going to keep mine flat. Okay. So traditionally with a poinsettia, it would have the green behind because the poinsettia isn't actually a flower. It's this central part is the flower. Yes. So it has red and green leaves that's not part of that one um there we go right Lovely. so i still have my poinsettia from last christmas do you i've kept it alive it's I, i'm a bit rubbish with plants <laughs> but one year i did have one and i, I cut it down thinking it died but it did come back ah uh, yes i cut it right down as well when the um when the leaves fall off because that does happen the yeah. leaf drop um if you kind of keep your poinsettia watered you'll see little shoots coming out of where those little holes are, where the uh. leaf fell off. So if you, as long as you keep it watered and not in a draft or a cold area, then it does grow back. So mine's now twice the size oh, of what I bought it. get top tips with plants <laughs> as well here on Agenda. I always have poinsettias at Christmas. I always pick them up. Do you know, I really like the white ones as well. Yes. 
Can you buy the white ones? It's hard to find them now, you know. You're probably more chance maybe at a, a dedicated um, garden centre or something yes. like that, or more expensive shops. But your regular supermarkets tend just to have the red ones in, I find. Okay, so this Ponsettia die set does come with all of yeah. these leaves as well. I just love this. Just got three minutes left, oh, Helen. Oh, better be quick. Let's get the Ponsettia on. I love the fact that you do get these in here as well. Fir branches. So I'm just going to add this one up here. I don't want to get in the way of the door being used. These would look amazing on your Christmas tree, these poinsettias as well. If you yes. had them on the, the end of every alternate branch or something. That's right. If you put a peg on the back, you can just peg it onto the yeah. branch. And they could get smaller as you go to the top, yes. the larger ones at the bottom. Because you do get the staggering sizes. Okay, so again, use a glue gun if you think that's going to be better. These are the thinner dyes, Helen. Is there any fabrics that they would cut? Would they go through a, um, co a cotton, do you think? I or? don't think... If your cotton was backed onto something, then perhaps yes. Okay. Uh, but these dyes will go through um, faux leather, like the will vinyl. They? Yes. Oh, fabulous. So oh. if you wanted to make this from a faux leather, sort of like a... Um, I can't think of the name now, but Craftex, that's the name. Oh, if you want to use craft options, doesn't it? You can actually make a really good sturdy bag. So um, I'm going to leave that one off. So that okay. is our. Wow. Look at that. How beautiful is that? So I'm just going to add some uh, fastenings onto there. That's beautiful. And then oh, it's a bit done. Of ribbon through the top would look amazing. Just think how you can really go to town with these. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go back to the website because we are nearly at the end of the hour. Let's give you a reminder of everything. Of course, this is the one day special. It's been very busy through the first hour for the one day special. You've got so many dyes, but you can find everything on the website there, including, don't forget, those paper pads as well, which are gorgeous. But the one day special, let's give you a final reminder of it. So don't forget it's not just about the advent calendar you've got the bag the ornate gift bag you can make there as well you've got those lovely tags now we've been busy now already 30 percent of the stock has gone this is the launch show remember item 165875 let's have another look at a few samples as well uh flexi buy option for you here two payments of 27 pounds and 48 pence i think it was not just for christmas that could be christmas because it looks i love pink at christmas and that could be a snow flurry but think about babies think about weddings think about about baby showers, christenings, birthdays, it's entirely up to you. Oh, look, yeah. what about that with the tag? How pretty is that? That is gorgeous, isn't it? And of course, we saw the advent calendar in demonstration. You can really go to town with these. We've got the gift bags as well. You can put your little handles in there. You've got all sorts of embellishments. It is a great bundle. Helen's going to be back at 8 o'clock, of course. Uh, we're going to hopefully see her in Good Evening Nichanda as well. But what a lovely launch to a one-day special, Helen. And I really genuinely want to go home and start making everything <laughs> Christmas now. Thank you so much. Welcome. You will come and join us, I hope, in the next hour. And we'll see yes. you at 8 o'clock as well. Thank you. Do stay with us if you can. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more to come. Bye-bye.